Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2020. Let's get on with your reading. All right, Virgo, we have the Five of Swords, okay? A bit of discord going on. This could be uh, people around you. I feel that for some of you guys, it could be almost feeling like people are talking behind your backs. Uh, this is something that you may already be experiencing. Now, the blockage here is the five of cups. Okay, so you guys have two fives. There's a lot of inner struggles going on, Virgo. What's going on? Uh, for some of you guys, this could symbolize, again, like I said, feeling emotionally drained. Feeling like people just don't get you or you're just tired, frustrated. There's a lot of darkness in these cards, a lot of gray colors, and this is symbolizing to me feeling a bit stressed, overwhelmed, or perhaps even depressed Virgo. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so some type of ending that occurred. Ten of Cups. All right. So what they're saying here is that there's a lot of karmic endings happening with you guys. This could be with friends. This could be relationships. This could be family dynamics. Um, now with the Ten of Swords, there was a, a, an ending that came, um, and it could have been based off of rumors or someone that came to you and, uh, said that, you know, someone else was speaking about you. Uh, this could have been a friendship type of dynamic as well. And you felt a bit betrayed and you were very quick and swift to cut them off, uh, without really giving them much time or even the opportunity to explain or express themselves now i do see the ten of cups here so this is emotional fulfillment but i feel that this has more to do with being able to step away from any toxic energies virgo as you can see uh to to us it represents on the left it usually indicates past and passing energies going towards the right is always what's unfolding so i see you guys actually becoming stronger i see you guys uh, in a better state of mind or being more clear on what it is that you want even choosing those who are around you or your family or your friends it's almost like you're deciding you're only going to embrace those that are positive or that bring positive things to your life without hesitation of cutting those that are toxic for you which is a definitely good thing. Now we do have the Ace of Pentacles and this is what's on your mind. So I see you guys embarking on a new journey. A lot of you guys are very motivated, money motivated. And I do see you guys wanting to either create more goals or trying to attain more goals in regards to your finances. Some of you guys could even be um, very well bumping elbows with people that are of higher position that are really putting you center stage and that will be helping you grow within the dynamic in regards to um in regards to your finances and in regards to the business front now you also do have the justice card finding or bringing everything to balance the king of swords you may be dealing with air energy aquarius libra gemini uh but as an advice the king of swords is telling you be methodical be smart in regards to the people that you're connecting so i think that for a lot of you virgos you're going to be experiencing for the month of april feeling like maybe you're having to pull away from friends or like some type of distancing because you're on a journey of wanting to achieve or wanting to grow and it could come at the expense of friends talking behind your back or people talking behind your back um, because they feel like you're changing. And perhaps you are Virgo, but there's nothing wrong with that. See, what, what they're telling me here is that sometimes it's necessary for us to, like it's okay for us to outgrow other people. If you've been friends with someone for 10 years and they're doing the same thing that they were doing back then, and you for yourself, you're wanting more, there's nothing wrong with having goals and aspirations. There's nothing wrong with wanting to continuously keep growing and evolving. That's part of life and it's necessary. 
But see, the people that have the same type of mentality that they had 10 years ago are going to see you like, oh, this person is switching up. They're changing. Uh, they're not wanting to be around us, et cetera, et cetera. And this is all like in a verbal aspect, like just gossip. And I think that what they're telling you here with the Justice card and the King of Swords is that it's important to, to maintain balance and to not be emotional, to not let your emotions get the best of you, trying to accommodate or appease your friends. Um, because you have to you have to balance your life and make decisions that perhaps you don't want to make, but they're necessary because you're on a journey, because you are on a path of growth, self-empowerment, and achieving more than anything. So again, if if what you're feeling is like people are distancing themselves from you or that they're gossiping or that they're saying things behind your back, don't feel overwhelmed. Don't feel emotional about it. Don't react in an emotional way. With the king of swords, there's a need for you to be methodical. And even if it comes to the point of people, even people that you consider to be your best friends, uh, switching up or changing on you because they are assuming you're the one that's changing, sometimes we outgrow people and that's okay. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Even if it means that it comes to the point of them walking away or betraying a secret, something that you came to them about and that you, you know, trusted them with and they go and give that information somewhere else or to someone else. And it almost feels like, yeah, it is a betrayal. But at the same time, this is just spirit letting you know you've outgrown these energies. You've outgrown these people. Don't allow them to be the ones to drag you down. Okay. Now we have the six of cups. Yeah. So what, what they're telling me here is basically what I just said. People, I feel that sometimes Virgos could tend to be too much of good friends, um, where sometimes we sacrifice to please others, or we hold our tongue because we're not trying to get on anyone's bad side. You know, Virgos are all about, you guys are wanting to have fun and just have good vibes. With the Six of Cups, you know, and the King of Swords, you're going to have to make a decision um, when it comes to friends and when it comes to acquaintances and when it comes to people around you, uh, you're going to have to make a decision whether you should completely cut them off or whether you want to continue watering yourself down uh, to please them. And with the Ace of Swords, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be completely transparent with yourself and be honest. If you feel that they're no longer good energy or that you've outgrown them or that they're choosing to remain where they're at and they're very negative about it, then that's a decision that they're making, Virgo. You need to be okay with that and not try to change them or not try to push them to do better. Because if you've been doing that and they're just choosing to remain there, there's not really much you can do for them. So again, it's about not self-sacrificing yourself. With the nine of wands, this is signifying to me almost like um, again, like they were saying, you know, growing within the company or being around people that are very inspired, people that are authoritative, um, perhaps even bringing people like friends around. It, it's almost like an awkward type of energy where you may feel embarrassed for your friends because of the way they act, or you may be feeling embarrassed with your bosses or people that you work with because they have this idea of you. And being around people or friends that perhaps are like Debbie Downers or always being extremely negative, it's just rubbing off in the wrong way and it's just awkward all around. What they're telling you here is, you know, if you feel like they've come to a situation or a conclusion of your friendship where you can no longer salvage that connection, don't get so wrapped up and emotional about the situation. Understand that when it comes to life, sometimes we outgrow people and there's nothing we can do about it. 
uh, or sometimes they outgrow us and that's just what it is. So what they're telling you here is don't sacrifice your happiness. Don't sacrifice your goals or your desires or aspirations just to accommodate those you love. Um, and this could even be very triggered to relationships. It could be, uh, it is a general reading and it could signify, uh, you know, that the person that you're with is not a person that is, you know, wanting to continue growing and they're just stuck in the mud and they're not wanting to change, but they're expecting you to change. Um, and they see that there's this potential in you and growth in you. So again, don't let them water you down, Virgo. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.